Welcome to another episode of W. Hollis Boxing. In this episode, we are discussing Canelo versus Jaime Munguia, Cinco de Mayo. Let's get into it. Okay, let's take a look at what actually troubles Canelo. It's not just aggression. You notice how Dimitri Bivol is a tall, rangy boxer who utilizes footwork. He didn't become over aggressive. He didn't fall for Canelo's trap along the ropes. Look how quickly he transitions from defense to offense. Look at the footwork. That's what troubles Canelo. It's not just size. It's not just strength. It's not just aggression. Because see, Bivol is picking his spots. See, he knows that Canelo is excellent at countering, but he's cerebral. He's not just fighting with heart. He's utilizing his mind. Bivol is also displaying patience. He's not over eager. He understands what Canelo is looking to do, so he's sizing him up. Canelo is an excellent counterpuncher, and Bivol is aware of that, and he conducts himself accordingly. Now let's compare that to Jaime Munguia. We see the youthful exuberance, but we don't see anything calculating. We see raw energy. We see aggression. We see somebody looking to do damage, and he sacrifices defense for that offense. Now Jaime Munguia has certainly improved since his days as a junior middleweight and even as a middleweight. He certainly refined his offense. He puts together nice combinations. He has good volume, great energy, decent power. He's an impressive fighter. However, look what Sergei Derevyanchenko is able to do because of how Munguia sacrifices defense for offense. He's only looking to do damage. Notice how Munguia throws those hooks from down at his hips. So he's not even thinking about his chin. He's just trusting his chin to be his defense. He's not worried about any return fire. And he believes that he can simply overwhelm his opponent. And this nearly cost him in this fight. See how when he gets caught in that exchange he's not guarding his face he throws another hook from down at his hips thinking about power he's only looking to do damage and now he's on the defensive and now imagine if Canelo lands this hook that's a tremendous hook now you could also say that Munguia showed a tremendous chin in taking that shot but think about if Canelo lands that that's a dangerous situation to put yourself in and he really was on the brink of defeat and he had to dig extremely deep to pull out that fight. Now, for all the improvement that Munguia has shown, he's still vulnerable in that he sacrifices defense for offense. Canelo loves to lay on the ropes just like this and land counters just like that. And I also favor Canelo because of his jab. He's able to land against taller opponents, and I expect him to do the same against Jaime Munguia. And I also expect for Canelo Alvarez to have his hand raised in victory, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> 